The average length of time that a person owns goats is only around five years. One reason is that they have unrealistic expectations of what owning goats requires. So what exactly do you need to understand before becoming a goat owner, and what are some of the common missteps you can avoid? Getting too many goats too fast. Quite often people decide to get into goats and then go out and start buying goats from various farms that are reputed for their quality. What they fail to consider is that the goats may not just double in number during the first kidding season, they may triple or quadruple if the goats are fertile. And these new little goats will grow, leading to cramped quarters, more likelihood of disease due to crowding, and more money coming out of your pockets for food and equipment. Start slow and don't get the maximum number of goats that your farm can handle right away. And then think about what you are doing when you start breeding your goats. They grow exponentially, and all of the kids are way too cute. Failing to educate yourself before getting goats. I don't know how many times I've heard, I want to get a couple of goats to control the blackberries on my property. When I ask about fencing, where the goats will sleep, or how the potential owners will protect the goats from the things they don't want the goats to eat, they seem puzzled. They hadn't thought about that. In fact, they didn't even know that these could be problems. Not educating yourself about goats and goat ownership is a guarantee for a short-lived goat experience, a lot of grief, or a much more expensive undertaking than you had planned. Underestimating the costs. Whether you just want to raise a couple of goats for milk or pets or a herd of meat goats, don't make the mistake of underestimating the setup and ongoing costs. I've had to add new fencing to my property and replace fencing that had worn out a lot more often than I had anticipated. And who realized that those plastic water buckets break after a few years? Or that rats can chew through plastic garbage cans? One stanchion might work for the two dairy goats you have in the beginning, but down the road, you find that you need one or two more. And routine medications expire after a year or two and have to be replaced even though you haven't used them. Raising goats reminds me of what my grandpa used to say, if I had a million dollars, I would go back into farming until the money ran out. Paying too much or too little for your goats. Not all offspring from prize winning, high milking, well muscled, or perfectly conformed goats will be champions, good producers, or even acceptable for anything other than pets. Buying goats from a breeder who has a good website and sells a lot of goats or one whose goat won a junior championship doesn't guarantee that what they sell you will be the best. Find out the going rate for the type of goat you want, compare shops, and if you can, ask other buyers about their experiences buying from the seller. Besides figuring out what the goats are worth to you, consider whether the high-priced goats will better meet your needs or pay for themselves in the long run. On the other hand, beware of bargain goats. There's no such thing as a free goat. If someone offers goats for next to nothing, ask why. You want to get a suitable goat the first time around rather than going through a bunch of cheap goats that don't fit your needs or keeping unsuitable goats because you've gotten attached to them. Getting only one goat. In almost all cases, getting only one goat is a recipe for trouble. Goats are not dogs and do not thrive on human companionship alone. Buying unhealthy goats. A lot of people are tempted to buy goats at an auction where they can get a good deal. Although some of these animals may be a good deal, you can't tell by looking at them whether they have an underlying health problem. Many owners of large herds take the goats to auction to get them out of the herd because they have an illness or don't meet their herd requirements, so either don't take that chance or be prepared for a negative outcome. When you buy from a breeder, look closely at the goats and make sure to ask about the goat's health, the herd's health, and whether they have been tested for certain diseases. Get a contract so that you have legal recourse if you later find that the goat had a pre-existing health problem. Neglecting routine management and care. Properly caring for goats is a daily job. In most cases, goats need to be fed and given clean water twice a day. In addition, they require periodic hoof trimming, routine medical care, handling, and grooming. If you let these responsibilities slide, the goat is defenseless, much like a child who relies on you. Overlooking your goat's dietary needs. Unless you have a huge acreage that is covered with plentiful weeds and other plants that goats like to eat, you need to buy them hay. Don't expect your goats to spend their time eating grass on a lawn, they like a variety of plants, which is why they're considered browsers rather than grazers. Giving the goats too little attention. Although they have been domesticated for over 10,000 years, goats are quick to return to a feral state. This means that they need attention and handling if they're to remain friendly. Often, goat owners avoid only certain goats, maybe the smelly bucks or the skittish members of the herd that requires effort to catch. These goats then get harder and harder to catch for routine care. Getting a buck before you're ready. Bucks are not for everyone. 
Raising a buck is a big responsibility and an aromatic proposition. Bucks don't normally make good pets, and you shouldn't get one with that idea in mind. If you want pets, start with the weather or, if you must, does. They don't stink and are not as strong and aggressive.